This one time in math class. This one time in math class. Real stories from the classroom. Let's do number 31. Find the radius of the larger wheel in the figure if the smaller wheel rotates 80 degrees when the larger wheel rotates 50 degrees. Oh no! What are you gonna do? Whoa! <laughs> Circles! This is the picture that we're using over here on the right hand side. You'd have to take a real good look to see the radii radius of the small one is 11.7 centimeters. The radius of the large one, mm, we don't know. They call it R. So they, that's what we're trying to find, the radius of the larger. So I drew them over here. The radius of the smaller, how far was that? 11.7, and it was in centimeters. We're trying to find that R there. Oh no! Well, they told us some more. How far does the little one rotate? 80 degrees. 80 degrees. 80. 80. 80. When this one rotates, how far? 50 degrees. 50 degrees? Bam! And that's our far. So we're trying to find our R. We're trying to find the radius of our bigger gear. What are we talking about when we're talking about these distances? These distances here, boom, this distance and this distance, they're constantly touching each other. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Mom! They're constantly touching each other. So what can be said about those distances? They are the same. And that's what we're looking for, our S. 1 is going to be R1 times theta 1, and our S2 is going to be R2 theta 2. But I thought that our S equals R theta. I thought that only works if we have radians and they give us degrees. So let's convert those. 80 degrees. What am I going to multiply that guy by? Pi over 180. So do I just cancel out that 8 and that 0? No. You reduce. What does that reduce down to? 4 over 9? 4 ninths pi? All right, we got that one. And then 50 degrees. That's pi over 180 again. So that's 5 eighteenths. Pi? It's OK. OK. So we were converting those degrees into radians because our sir, S equals R theta only going to work for radians. So we go and we throw that up in there. We know that this has a radius of 11.7. And my degrees, no, I need that in radians. What was 80 in radians? 4 ninths pi. And then, so S1 and S2 are going to be the same because those gears are touching. So, 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 my arc lengths are going to be the same. And then, that's going to be equal to, I'm trying to find my R2. That's the big wheel. So I'm going to call that R. And then, what was 50 in radians? 5 eighteenths. All right. A little bit of algebra after that point. Over on the left-hand side, what is all that? 11.7 times 4 divided by 9 times pi as a decimal. 5.2, you say? 5.2-ish. Anybody else get 5.2? Let's see, that's half. Half of 11 is 5.2. Oh, you still have pi in there, don't you? Pi? Yeah, pi. Pi. That's equal to... Okay, this time we're going to leave pi in there because we left pi in the last one. And our pi's are going to cancel out. It's going to be magical. What's 5 divided, divided by 18? 0.27. 0 0.27. 0 0.27 pi r. I'm going to take that a couple slides over. What was that on the left? 
0.27 pi r, because we're trying to find r radius. So we divide both sides by 0.27 pi, and I divide this side by 0.27 pi, and then uh, 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 oh, arr, uh, uh, oh, is 19.3. 19.3, and that's in centimeters? So that's our radius. Let's go back and take a look and see if it makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. If this is 11.7, that one's about 19. Get me all geared up for another one.